Hey Linus and company, I have a quick response to your 3D overhype video. I am of the correct age and economic demographic to have experienced this hype. In fact, in my first year with a proper adult job, I purchased a PS3 and the Uncharted game and this monitor. A SyncMaster SA950, an active 3D monitor. With that combination, I was playing a really fun PS3 game in active stereoscopic 3D. A few years later, I traded the PS3 and the games for a box of junk to a Craigslister who was probably lying about how sick his son was. The monitor's still here, though, and it's still a pretty good monitor, although its available refresh rate modes are a little limiting. Do I ever use its 3D functions? No. In fact, I'm surprised I could find where this was being kept. But, is 3D dead? I don't think so, but the gimmicks never helped. Why do I think it's not completely dead? I use it, and the friction for that is lessening every day. I also think that the places that I am using 3D are, for the most part, doing it right. As a full-stack developer, I do appreciate the value of, and the difficulty, of progressive enhancement. I might model or animate in Blender, and if I connect my Quest, and I can connect it wirelessly for maximum convenience, I can inspect my models in VR. But without it, I'm still modeling just fine on a 2D screen. There are a bunch of 3D videos on YouTube, but if you don't have a headset or a 3D display, you can still watch those same videos in 2D. I think that the difficulty of the buy-in and the dumb gags killed the market for 3D displays, but it does add another dimension to your art when you do it right. You were talking about the problem with narrow depth of field, but I think if it's done with precision and paired with intentional placement of image convergence, if the action you want the viewers to follow doesn't move abruptly forward and backward between cuts, then you could have some amazing storytelling. But claiming that 3D doesn't have to be dead isn't something that I do just because I like my standalone inside-out headset. I think that there is a standard out there that would allow for 99% adoption because it works on any screen, doesn't cut the brightness of the image in half, and works without updating any software or buying any new hardware. You just have to worry that your face will get stuck and you'll forever look like a doofus. Also, YouTube lost proper support for it a few years ago, the resulting image will be half the width that you want it to be, and you'll see three copies of whatever you're watching. Oh, and you can't tilt your head while you watch it, or it all goes wonky. What I'm talking about is cross-eyed 3D. It's basically the side-by-side -side standard that your own head can decode without glasses or lenticular displays. Morn1415 has a 12-year-old video that is actually a really good one-minute primer. All you have to do is pick a point partway between the screen and you, and cross your eyes focusing on that point, until the two images beyond that point become one. And then you'll see things with extra depth. In fact, you can watch side-by-side -side videos and cross your eyes to get a depth effect, but it won't be quite right. In my opinion, they should have made the side-by-side -side standard right-left. Anyway, thank you for listening to my rant. 3D doesn't have to be dead. Long live 3D. YouTube, please bring back your old 3D support.